what is going on my lovely aries and thank you guys so much for tuning in all right guys so it is friday august 2nd when i am recording this but this is a timeless reading whenever you find it is when it's meant for you and this is for all aries placements keep in mind guys it could be your energy that i'm picking up on or the energy of something or someone around you okay and just a disclaimer, my loves, I will never, ever contact you for a reading. If someone does, that is a scammer pretending to be me. So please be careful, guys, and do not get got, okay? All right, so let's get into this. Let's see what is going on for my Aries crew. What is going on for the sign of Aries? Past, present, and future. for the sign of Aries. All right, guys, so the first card that we have for your past is the Seven of Pentacles reversed. Okay. We have the Queen of Pentacles reversed. Get one more card here for the past. And we have the lover's card reversed, okay? There's a realization that you came to that something was done. Like, you guys are so over something, okay? There's something that you don't want to waste your time with. This could be you feeling your, this way towards something. Maybe there's someone feeling this way towards you, okay? But there's something here that I just feel like you feel so spread thin. And you're like, I can't do this anymore. I don't want to be around this anymore. I don't want to waste another second anymore. Like, this isn't me. This isn't me living my most authentic life, okay? There's too many issues. And frankly, it's starting to piss me the fuck off. All right, that's how you guys are taking this. Like something is just getting to the point where now you're fucking pissed, right? Or or now it's really dragged you to a place where like, I, you know, when I say I, I'm talking about you guys, like I wasn't trying to be here. You guys didn't ask for this, you know? With the nine of cups reverse, it's like you just, again, you weren't happy here. Um, and there's like a whole new direction you're trying to go. And so I feel like you're just trying to like, <laughs> you're trying to leave out the back door when it comes to something, all right? So, Seven of Pentacles, why is this here? Page of Cups reversed. Too many. We have the Page of Cups reversed and we have the Page of Wands. Okay. There's something where, like, something just feels like it's, like, full of shit. Something doesn't feel genuine. Okay. For some of you, you could be in a position where, like, something just didn't seem, it didn't seem like the reliable option, or it didn't seem like what you should be focusing on, and, and there's something else you're trying to focus on, okay? there There's something that you're, you're trying to excel, and there's something new that you're getting yourself into, but there's something that it just feels like, you know, like it's not going to work out, or like... You may not have gotten the results that you wanted, or maybe someone doesn't get the results they wanted, okay? But again, you're not trying to waste your time with what won't work. You're trying to shift your focus on what actually makes sense for you, okay? So Queen of Pentacles reversed. What's going on here with this Queen of Pentacles reversed? I feel like, Aries, a lot of you, you have something uh, new in the works, you could have just been talking about it at first, okay? But we have the magician. So, like, yeah, there's something that really depleted you. There's something that, like, had you so exhausted and drained, okay? But that has nothing to do with your ability to create and manifest, okay? So, like... Think of... Uh, 
I I'm trying to think of an example for this, like, let's say there's someone, I, I keep using, like, a Olympic uh, examples since it's, it's relevant right now, but, like, you know, and I keep using a runner as an example, but, you know, imagine there's uh, a runner here and, and they've been training, you know, for years and they're really fucking fast. And let's say, um, you know, somebody they really love leaves them or, or, you know, something just happens, right? And, and they get fucked up that night. And then the next morning, it's like, oh, they have to run, but they're not in the mood to run. So they run, but they're like, just, just kind of jogging. Does that mean that they lost their speed and all those years of training? Absolutely not. Does it mean that they're incapable of running the way that they did, you know, a few days prior? Absolutely not. But something in that moment made them feel like they had to, but they never lost that, that, that ability to do so. Okay, so something had you exhausted, Aries. But it's not because you weren't capable. I just feel like there was just so many like circumstances that added to this where it's like it's something that you're you're capable of doing, but maybe you took a back burner or you know, maybe you put it on the back burner rather, or maybe you were just dealing with again life circumstances. Okay. Let's get one more card here. We have the devil card reverse. So yeah, there you guys are around something or an environment that just it took a lot out of you. It had you feeling depleted. It just for some of you, maybe you were like frozen. Okay. I don't know if you guys have ever gone through that where it's like you feel so overwhelmed by all the things that you have to do, so you just do nothing. Like you're just so incapable, you know, on like a spiritual and mental level. But it's like, you guys, you, you shake that shit off. You shake off whatever was making it seem like you were falling off or like you couldn't accomplish something. Because again, whatever this was, it's something that you're capable of. Okay. This could be like, oh, you're the best fucking salesman that your city has ever seen. But you get into a petty fight with your boss and they fire you. Does that mean you're not a good salesman? No, you're still the fucking best. Your boss is just a fucking cunt. Okay, so this is something where it's just like, it's not that you're incapable, it's not that you can't, it's just you weren't in the right environment, or you weren't in the right setting, you weren't in the around the right people, you weren't, something was off, and therefore you were off, in, in areas where you're capable, okay? We have the lovers reversed. So again, a lot of you guys, you could have just, for a lot of you, your focus could have just been getting out of something really fucked up. And maybe other areas in your life suffered. But again, it's not because you're not able. It's because like, yo, this is fucked up. Let me process this. Let me deal with this. And then we'll see what happens next, you know? So again, lovers reversed. Why is this here for your past? We have the seven of swords. a card about secret holding things in what is this about knight of wands reverse six of pentacles reverse four of cups I feel like there's okay this could go two ways all right you could be coming out of something because there could have been a lot of secrets and maybe there's an energy around you that um, you weren't trusting, there was some sort of imbalance, okay? But you know what I feel it is for a lot of you? I feel like you're walking away from something and it's kind of like, you know, you, you're going to seal it up and throw away the key. There's, there's something you don't want to say. There's something you don't want to necessarily put out there yet. And you know what? It could be because someone, I know that th this is very specific, but I feel the need to say this, but like, you're going to move in silence with something. And part of the reason why you're moving in silence is because from the outside towards certain people or environments, you might look like you're, you're doing something fucked up. 
But I don't think that you are. I think that there's something in your life that was a huge imbalance and you just can't accept it anymore. So when you try to move differently, it's like, oh, <laughs> look at Aries. Like, who the fuck do they think they are? This could be something like, let's say you break up with someone and you just, you know, for a fucking fact, it's never going to work. Okay. But we all know, like, it's not necessarily the smartest thing to run back to an ex and be like, oh, I met so-and-so and we're going to go out this day and just want to let you know. Okay. Like, that, that's not, you know, information we should be delivering to our exes. But this could be a situation, like, say you left somebody um, and now you're going on a date with someone new. And it's like, you don't need to tell the ex because they're going to look at you and be like, how could you? You're betraying me. It's like, no, bitch, I left you. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, it could be that as well. Okay, because some of you could look fucked up for the way, for the direction you're going to go in. But... I don't really get the fact that it's fucked up. For some, maybe, sure, it can be. But for others, I think it's just going to be something along the lines of, like, a fear of losing you, Aries, okay? A fear of you not being part of the equation when it comes to something, okay? I feel like it's the past that's like, wh wh what are you doing? You're supposed to stay here. You're not supposed to change. You're supposed to stay here forever, okay? And you realize, like, nah, like, this, this ain't my life. Like, with the Emperor Reverse, like, guys... That's your energy there with the emperor reverse. That's you guys telling yourself like, yo, like I'm, I'm playing house right now. Like I'm, I'm playing pretend. Okay. This is, um, the sense of feeling like feeling a sense of inauthenticity in your life. Okay. Like something's just not meant to be there and you know it. So present moment, what's going on? We have the High Priestess reversed. The Eight of Pentacles. The Nine of Swords reversed. Okay, so deep down inside, you guys knew the shifts that you needed to make, okay? Um, I feel like there was a problem that if you guys aren't still dealing, like, you're either still dealing with it but about to be done or it's like you've, you've dealt with it. You see it for what it is. But there's something that, like, it really... It had you fucked up. I'm sorry if you guys heard that snoring. That's my dog. All right. But like something really just had you like, it had you all fucked up. Okay. For some of you, Aries, you could have been stirring up a problem. Okay. Especially if you were doing things that were super untrustworthy and, and people are seeing that. Okay. But for a majority of you, something just had you messed up and you're, you're now recovering from it. But like. It wasn't bringing out the best of you. It was bringing out, like, maybe lower energies, like... And it doesn't have to even be something that you did, like... Honestly, guys, I'm an Aries Venus, and there's certain people that when I hear them talk, my energy is just lowered. So I know, like, oh, I can't... I can't let you have the stage. I can't... I can't give you the mic. Like, you're just... You're fucking exhausting, all right? Um, so it, it's not to say that, oh, we're fucked up. It's like, nah, like, this had me fucked up. Like, y'all heard that, you know? So let's see what's going on here. High Priestess reversed. Why is this here in the present moment? All right. High Priestess reversed. Nine of Cups reversed. The Temperance card. Ten of Wands. Nine of Pentacles reversed. Justice card reversed. Ten of Swords reversed. I feel like a huge injustice has been done here. Um, and you guys just feel so spread thin. Okay. Um, and, and something, it just, it felt heavy, but spirits like, look, the worst that could have happened has happened. All right. Something may have been throwing you off or, you, uh, you may have felt like you weren't on the right track, but you completely heal from that. Now you see what the issue was. Okay. But I feel like. The beautiful thing here, Aries, is that 
you genuinely find peace in an area that had you very uncertain and very unhappy with the things that were going down. Now, here's your central card. Here's your central energy. This is what everything taps into. We have the Eight of Pentacles. All right, so the Eight of Pentacles, um, that's about working. That's about uh, what you're investing your time in, okay? Who you're talking to, things like that. We have the Two of Wands reverse and the Five of Cups reverse. So you guys are coming out of a place where you could have felt lost, but what I love is that you still show up for yourself, okay? So you may be feeling a little lost or you may be feeling like, oh man, like this isn't exactly what I wanted or this isn't exactly where I want to be, but you're still putting in effort. You're still doing what you have to do. And with the Five of Cups reverse, what that's doing for you is that's allowing you to fully heal from whatever happened just now. All right, or in this past situation, spirit is saying you have nothing to worry about. Okay, you don't have to lose sleep. And now that you have come out of something, even if you felt alone or ostracized or like it was you against the world, it's not you against the world. You're going to see that there's something that happens where you have support, whether it be by friends, whether it be by family, and you have balance. Okay, I see community helping you with this. All right, but don't fall into the trap areas of replaying certain things in your mind that aren't true, okay? It's three times easier, guys, to think a negative thought than it is a positive thought, all right? So we really, like, got to stop ourselves in our tracks because I feel like some of you could be so fixated on what was unstable, Okay, and it's like you're, you're letting it define you. No, it doesn't fucking define you. It was a moment in your life. It's not who you are. You hear me? It was a moment in your life. It is not who you are. Okay, and with the Seven of Cups and Emperor Reverse, like you're realizing like you just weren't where you were meant to be. Like you're realizing what was throwing you off. Like you weren't being as you as you can be. And I don't know why, I don't know, again, like what was holding you back, but there was a part of you that I feel was being suppressed or that you were just holding back and suppressing on your own, whether you, you know, whether it was conscious or subconsciously, okay? So again, the nine of swords reversed, that's, you know, you're not losing sleep anymore. There's a spirit saying you have nothing to worry about. We have the Judgment card reversed. Seven of Wands reversed. Honestly, guys, this is something where you're releasing such a heavy burden. And whatever this was that you experienced, I don't ever see that happening again. This is something that God's Spirit hated for you. This is something where it's like God wants you to be honest with yourself. And it's like, okay, like, honestly, what got you to that point? Okay, you got that? Great. Let's never fuck with that again. Okay? Whatever it was that got you there, let's never fuck with it again. Okay? Because there's still a part of you that I feel like, guys, you could be traumatized or you could just simply not be over something. But there's something that it's just, it's still traumatizing there's still something bad and it's like this situation or whatever caused you to get to the situation it tries to come back and it's just it's something that puts your back against the wall okay it's something that can come off all nice and dapper and 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 you know charismatic and shit but it's it's nothing but burden for some of you that could be a pisces cancer or scorpio specifically okay There's just this cycle that you guys never experienced again. I feel like something was like the last time for you. So let's go into the future, Aries.
we have the Queen of Wands reversed, the Ten of Swords reversed, the Wheel of Fortune reversed, Justice card, the World card reversed, Eight of Cups reversed. Guys, look. I, I see two very clear paths here, okay? Now, on one end, Spirit is telling you that the worst that could have happened has happened, okay? That's past you. It's only up from here, okay? But there might be some Aries that refuse to walk away from the lesson that should have been learned. And I just want to warn you guys as a friend that if you do let this energy come back in or whatever the catalyst was to your problem, all right, if you let this back in again, not only does it put you in a place where, like, you're really angry with yourself, but there's a lot of misfortune attached to it. You've already seen what something can do once or twice, three times, four times, whatever. Do you really need another time to see that whole thing happen again, you know? So we have the Queen of Wands reversed. Why is this here for your future? The Ten of Wands. The Eight of Swords. Ace of Cups reversed. Knight of Swords reversed. Three of Pentacles reversed. Now is not a time for people to be fucking with y'all. Because I feel like someone's going to test your gangster. And I feel like they're going to come to you. Like, I just feel like whether it's someone or a situation, some reckless shit is going to appear. And, like, I just see you guys like, no, 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 You know? Um, and I feel that. Guys, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. Like I said, I'm an Aries Venus, and I bumped into someone like about a month ago that we really don't get along, and, and it's okay. Um, and I didn't do anything. It's just it's someone I really have to protect myself from because they're, they're literally dangerous. And, you know, I, I'm seeing this person, and, you know, it, it was like a very short cordial conversation and and I had said something but it's something in defense of myself it's something to let this person know you will never fuck with me again and if you try to fuck with me again I will ruin your fucking life like I will make you regret being here like just don't fuck with me like you know my ancestors they they don't play about me and so you know I, I said it in a nice way though you know just just I didn't say that I'm like you know I just kept the tone of like yo you know I'm just, I know I'm not going to be fucked with again. Like, I know I'm good, you know? And and they go to, like, argue. And, and like, they, they make the face there. They always make right before they get into some dumb shit. And the moment they made that face, I literally put my hand over their mouth. And I'm like, shh, shh, shh shut the fuck up. Like, I'm just like, ah, with every fiber in my body, shut the fuck up. And they shut the fuck up. And it was just, ah. Uh, Oh my God, it feels so good when you don't want to hear someone speak and they don't, you know? So it was just like, <sighs> you know? And it was just such a like relief to like just be past that, you know, to, to, to have flipped the page on that. And for a lot of you guys, it's just like, there's going to be something where you're in that like, no, 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 no. We're not fucking doing this because you can't stop thinking about how so how something has affected you in the past. You know, so it's just like you're you're not doing this dance again. So it's like nah, like this shit is it's just toast. It's done. All right, the worst is past you with that ten of swords reversed. Okay. We have the king of pentacles. All right, so that could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. But I feel like guys, the worst is behind you, and you guys come the fuck up. Like you flourish. Like there is just an energy that it was just like. How can you thrive around it, you know? And with the Ace of Pentacles, you go towards a whole new beginning, a whole new life, all right? This is long-term stability, whether it's a relationship, whether it's wealth coming in. Um, you know, if this is something to do with money, like, guys, this is something that sets your grandchildren up, your great-grandchildren up. Like, this is, like, some generational shit. Um, if this is, like, love or a new business or whatever, like, it's something that I see lasting for a long time, 
something that's going to be very stable and something that can sustain you, you know, and, and have you living very comfortably. Um, but there's a lot of injustice that I feel that you've seen or experienced and it's, it's being cut out. You're not letting something back in. Okay. You're not, you're not doing the same sort of arguments. Like there's going to be situations where maybe you guys would have been sending paragraphs, but now the message is not even going to come through to your phone. That's just blocked. Like you guys, you're just, you're, you're not available for the things that have fucked you up in the past. You know what I'm saying? You're, you're not available to, to do a doomed tangle again, you know? Wheel of Fortune reversed. Keep in mind, guys, that something might really test you, okay? And you might, in your moment of rage or anger, like, just really feel very stuck on it and be like, what can I do to put certain things in their place or certain people in their place? Don't. You don't need to, okay? Things will work out the way that they need to. But just know you're going towards major stability. So it doesn't matter what this was from the past. It doesn't define you anymore. It's not who you are. It's just it's something you experienced. It's something you went through. We're all fucking human. We make mistakes. And I'm more interested in the people who made it after fucking up than the people who made it because mommy and daddy gave it to them. I'm not interested in nepotism. I'm not interested in silver spoons. Tell me how fucked up your life was and tell me how you got out of it. Tell me how you excelled. I fucking respect you more than anybody else in this room. Success is great. Success stories are so inspiring. Okay, but when you can see people really go through rock bottom, really go through bullshit, really get their hearts broken, really go through, through money problems, love problems, spiritual problems, like that's who I want to hear from. Okay. It's so funny, guys, because I saw this video. It was like this girl who's like 21. She's like, I'm going to tell you how I became a millionaire at the age of 21. And I'm like, ah, oh, let's listen. The first sentence was, so my dad owns this company. I turned it off. Bitch, we don't relate. You know what I'm saying? I turned it off. I'm like, nope, this, this doesn't resonate with the average person who needs to work. You know, who, who daddy's not holding down. So... It's just something, guys, where it's like, you're really going to do so well. And the story that you have behind your success, it's so fucking fire. Like, it is, you know? So why is this Wheel of Fortune reversed? Let's talk about it. We have the Four of Swords. Sorry, my dog is really out here just snoring. <laughs> and we have the Moon card. The three of cups. Guys, whatever misfortune it was that you experienced, okay, it actually illuminated a lot for you. It woke you up in a lot of areas in life where you needed to be woken up or you needed to see something. But guys, there's nothing but celebration and happiness coming. So guys, if someone or something happens that like, you know, initially you just feel triggered, take deep breaths. Don't go to someone's house and fuck them up. Don't destroy shit. Don't make holes in walls. Like, just... You know? And we got to look at certain things differently. You know? Because I, I feel like you're coming out of something that's, like, so heavy in a sense. And it's like, instead of letting it bring you down, look at the good that can come from it. Okay? Like I said in the last reading, guys, the last reading was a collective reading. That's a reading for everyone. So definitely check it out if you have time. Um, But... You know, and this is something I actually did recently myself, okay? Um, but something that I suggest for you guys. Because a lot of you, you're ending cycles that are just really just bad or toxic. Something was just so off for you. And a lot of the times when we're coming out of something, like say you're leaving somebody and you're packing up your, your clothes and shit, like it could feel kind of like shit, okay? But let's look at it a different way. Okay, let's say you're that person packing up, all right? Take in that moment because it's like, this is going to be the last time I ever have to do things in this way. This is going to be the last time I ever find myself in situations like this or around people like this, all right, or in environments like this. Okay, like, take it in 
remember who you are and what you want out of life, okay? Like, I, I, I didn't clap for myself when I stopped having to look in the bank account to fill gas tanks. You know what I'm saying? And it's, like, little things like that. Like, we got to celebrate. So, like, I know for a lot of you what you're going through may be heavy, but have a moment of celebration for yourself that this is the last time. All right? So instead of, like, you know, doing something or coming out of something and it feels like doomsday, like, no, think of it as, like, wow, this is when all the bullshit ends and this is the beginning to the rest of my life. Isn't that way better than just feeling like, oh, I fucked up? No, this is I fucked up for the last time in this area. And, you know, God forbid, knock on wood, I ever have to go through a fuck up again, it's not going to be this deep. It's not going to be this heavy. It's going to be a much easier fix. You know? So, Wheel of Fortune reverse the moon card. Let's get one more card here. The Six of Swords reverse. So, yeah, guys, I acknowledge the fact that it was really tough for you to switch this up. But it's time. Enough is enough. It's time. And there's going to be certain people, places, and things that you have to protect yourself from. Okay? For some of you with the Four of Pentacles, that could talk about frugality. Okay? So, it could be the sort of, like, you could be in the sort of energy, like, if it's not absolutely necessary, like, don't do it. All right? Like, if, if... You're going to the store because you need an all-white sweater and you see two all-white sweaters and they look exactly the same. The only difference is like the inside tag of one. So one is $20 and the other one is $2,000. Like, get the fucking $20 sweatshirt. Like, let's let's not go crazy, you know? Um, so for some of you, Spirit is asking you to be frugal because there's certain things that it's your frugality is going to, um, is going to benefit a situation, Okay. But guys, let's get some cards of advice. Let's see what spirit wants to say about all of this. And Aries, if this is resonating with you guys so far, there are links in the description below to donate, as well as my Amazon wish list if you guys want to surprise me and bless the home. And of course, my loves, if you'd like a personal reading, my website is there. You guys can go there and purchase what you need. And like I always say, guys, if you know you're not a patient person, if you know you're going to want to curse me out if you don't get your reading in two days, Please get the emergency readings. They come out within 24 hours of purchase. And then the one-on-one -on -one readings, I personally text you from my own number within an hour, uh, not an hour, within 24 hours, all right? I will text you within 24 hours to set the time that we do the video call, okay? Not within an hour, all right, guys? Time zones, time zones, okay? <laughs> so let's see. What is the advice here, Aries? What is the advice here for my lovely Aries? We have the Ace of Cups. The Six of Cups reverse. So yeah, guys, a chapter of your life is over. Like, I just see, a, I feel like a book is being completely closed or that... Not even chapter. I feel like a book is closed, you know, because, uh, you know, the next chapter is just a slight progression of the previous one, you know, but this is like a whole new book. This is a whole new life. Okay. Like that's, that's closed out. Like this is, you know, this is a sequel. This is a trilogy, <laughs> you know, and what you guys are going towards, is going to be so, um, emotionally fulfilling and you know what spirit just said to me? That you were destined for this, that this was inevitable, that you got through some of the hoops you needed to get through in order to get to this, okay? But this for you guys, you guys being stable and you guys being to, you guys being able to trust yourself, to trust your environment, to trust the people around you, that was inevitable, all right? Everything that you went through was to mold you, okay? It was to mold you. And did you have to deal with some bullshit? Yes. Did you, were you stumbling? Were you fighting to get balance? Yeah. Did you lose a lot? Yeah. For some of you, you could have lost a shitload of money. You could have lost a shitload of just something that made you feel abundant. But guess what? Now you're more authentic. 
Okay. And guys, a quick message to whoever here has like big dreams. All right. When we ask the universe for something big, for really, really big blessings, the universe has to prepare us. And it's usually not easy preparations. Okay. You, you don't prepare for war by sipping lemonade. Okay, you don't prepare for a marathon by, you know, sitting in, in a floaty in a pool. You're going to have moments where you're like, fuck, this sucks. But what did you ask for? Oh, you asked for that thing? Right. You, you need to prepare at the same level of that thing. But Aries, it's time for a whole new life. Okay. And this is, you know, this is such a you card because it's like with the fool card, that's something new, that's something exciting. And you guys, you're the babies of the Zodiac. You're the trailblazers, okay? The, the first to come, all right? So imagine, imagine you being the first Zodiac sign, right? And there's 11 of us behind you, all right? Me, Taurus, I'm second to you. And then we got a Gemini behind me and we got a Cancer, Leo, so on, right? You're the first one in the fucking forest. You're the first one in the wilderness. You're the one with the fucking machete because there's no paths. That's why they call you the trailblazer. There was no one before you to make a path. So us signs, we're just behind like, all right, you guys doing well? All right. Y'all let us know when that path is clear. Let us know when it's safe. All right, cool. Okay. But at the end of the day, you take full credit because you're the blueprint. You know what I'm saying? So get in that energy and get your metaphorical machete out. Not a real one. Be nice, guys, all right? I know y'all can get crazy when you're mad, all right? No machete play. But metaphorically speaking, be ready to create these new paths in areas and in places that you haven't before, that people around you haven't before. It's, it's time for a whole new life. We have the Hermit reversed. The Tower card. <laughs> Guys, you don't have, like, so many of you have no idea how good things are about to get. Because I feel like when we go through through bad shit and like we experience bad stuff it's so easy to stay in that energy like fuck i had a bad day yesterday and i feel like shit about it today so i'm gonna have a bad day again today like no guys there's something that you don't even realize is coming your way that you're going to realize like you're that bitch all right male female i don't care like you're gonna realize wow i'm the shit okay and guys, the level of stability that you have, that you have rather, that's coming, whether you have it already or it's coming, but there is a deep, deep sense of stability that comes into your life where you're really able to handle things, okay? And you're able to handle it so easily, okay? I remember being like a young kid, like, not even a young kid, like a young adult, because kids don't worry about this, but I remember like when I first started like, you know, living outside of my parents' house and stuff like that, like, I'd go to malls and stuff, and I'd see, you know, these people with, like, bags worth more than my life, and their kids have, like, the most expensive thing on earth, and I'm like, oh, my God, I couldn't afford the ramen that I saw in the supermarket, you know, earlier. I wonder what it feels like to be you. I wonder what it feels like to, like, not have to worry about rent or mortgage or not have to worry about, oh, my car got fucked up. Well, do you want to fix it or buy a new one? Like, I can't wait till I get to that place of no worry. That's what I used to tell myself all the time, okay? And guys, whatever that is with whatever part of your life it's in, okay, where you're just like, I wonder what the fuck it feels like to be stable in that part of my life. Wonder no more because it's coming, Aries. You're going to experience stability in an area in your life that it feels fucking good. And when you're stable in certain places, like financially, spiritually, love-wise, okay, mentally, there's just a different air about you. There's a different sense of confidence. 
okay? Grab a pair of twins, right, that live separately. Show me one, the one that's, like, if imagine there's one that's thriving and there's one that's, like, a month or two behind, you know, on all their shit. I guarantee you their energies are going to be different. I guarantee you the one who's well off is going to be like, oh, yeah, so <laughs> so tell me why yesterday and the other person's going to be like, yeah, <laughs> Yeah, that was great. Because <laughs> in the back of their mind, they're like, fuck. All right, so this is that moment for fuck to go away. Welcome to a very stable world that you guys fucking deserve after that whole ring circus of a thing you went through. Okay, Aries, I love you guys so much. All right, again, if you guys need anything from me, check out the description below this video. And guys, I have a Discord chat room. If you have not already joined it, the High Vibration chat room, go ahead and do so. There's a separate room for all signs, all right? And then there's a general room for all of us to talk, but you guys can speak in any room. Just say what's up, be nice, you know, everyone's pretty cool. So yeah, guys, I will put that link there. If I forget to, just mention it and I'll copy and paste it, but it's in my older videos too, so you can always find it that way. But yeah, I love you guys. Until next time, take care, Aries.